Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! That co-appearance was like a dream come true. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Wait, the Ferris wheel? Hello, everyone. I missed... I, I missed our Tamagotchi. I didn't get to click on it fast enough. But hello everyone. Uh, we're back in I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Last time we talked to a bunch of people. We met some new characters. Uh, we learned a little bit of information, but nothing, um, you know, too... You know, no hard evidence or anything yet, just basically getting to know some of the new characters. And now... I don't know what we're doing now. Oh wait! I can open this <laughs> from here! How do you like your engine to be... Supplied air? How do you like your engine to be supplied air? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's literally what I was gonna say. What does that mean? I don't know anything about engines. What are you talking about? Talking about roast pig? I became a childy? Tell me Mori? What the heck? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Back to the video game. Um, am I trapped here, actually? Am I not supposed to be leaving? <laughs> uh... Uh... I might have to reload. I don't know what's happening. Auto? Hello? Airplane. <laughs> what is this? Uh. Uh. <laughs> is this a glit? Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that was a. Uh glitch or something probably to do with like manually saving uh i just had to reload thankfully if i go into like the flow chart and i go to the most recent thing that happened it was just like a couple lines of dialogue that i had to sit through rather than going back too far um unfortunate that that is a thing <laughs> that happens i guess i'll try to watch out for that. I don't know how, but, um, oh wait. Do I have to go to all these places again? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did we do it? Is it over? <laughs> You're going back to Abyss? Okay, that was really unfortunate. Maybe there's an easier way to get around to having to do all that again. <laughs> but I just had to do basically everything all over again. Uh, okay. <laughs> but now we're back. It's all good. Maybe I just won't manually save anymore. <laughs> I guess, and have to deal with doing like a minute or two of stuff every time. I don't know. Anyway, going back to Abyss, I guess we are. Also, we are in a limo. 
Why do we have a limo? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Are we rich? What's going on? Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Can we talk about why we have a limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Hello? Lady. Scream like a little girl. Who are you? Recite the sutras. Roar like a vicious beast. Who are you? Who are you? Shut up! Stop shouting! But you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Okay. Organize information. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? <laughs> it's still such a weird name for a video. There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Okay. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. Oh, we get to watch it? Bats. You guys ready? Do you see it? Have you found the secret? Rip me, burn me. Okay. Fourth. idea what it's supposed to mean interesting they say there's a hidden message inside but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look yeah it just looks like someone's attempt at making a an ARG online but it does look similar to the other video oh you want me to talk to you again okay where did bats 490 come from same as a QR video it was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. Wait. Same as a QR video, it was originally uploaded and it spread from there. Same it so is a QR code somewhere? How can the account oh, the account holder is unknown. Okay. In any case. Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Uh, about the reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just... For some reason, it's stuck in my head. If 
it's because everybody keeps saying it. <laughs> what do you think of this car? I... Tell me about it. Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Why do you have a limo? Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Trivia. Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and brakes. I send signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. Yeah. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? Did you buy this? <laughs> I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh, so your parents are rich. What did they do? Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Why is it always six years ago? What is the obsession with things happening six years ago? Ryuki, Hello? you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Hi. Okay, uh, oh, I... Ryuki, I got your number from boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. There were bats in it. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Oh, is this, uh, what's his name's son? His name was Shoma, right? The comedian's son? He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! Also, isn't that how do we know that this kid actually decoded it and isn't like, yeah, I decoded it. What of it? <laughs> like, they're not just bragging. Andy's Komeji's. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. It's a different, like, last name, though? Hello? Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? What's <laughs> that face? <laughs> the face up on the shelf. Hello. The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. You don't look anything like your father. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Machine part. What it... What is that? Is a it's trophy old. with a top hat? Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Okay. Is this a puppet for the quiz? What? It's a doll. <laughs> a toy robot. What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? Earthenware? What does that mean? Family altar. Window. How far back? Uh, toy hammer? Squeaky toy hammer here. Folding fan. For slapstick comedy? Okay. There's a drawing that I cannot interact with. Interesting. What is this? You laugh more often than you breathe. Lucky laugh. Okay. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> Wait, Why? this was supposed to be touching? <laughs> uh, okay. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Okay. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. There's a lot of, like, gods and goddesses and mythology and stuff showing up here. But I guess it did last time in the last game, too, and I don't think it really meant anything, right? I think Iris kept bringing it up. Uh, toolbox. What are you making? It's a machine part. Wait, why is there a buzzer here? It's the answer button for the quiz. Do I need to press it to talk? Shoma? Uh, about your Just father. To confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji. 
And his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Uh, okay, stage name. Got it. How do we even know he's listening? He could be listening to music. What are you making? What are you making? It looks like a vehicle. Don't tell me it's a bomb. Oh, hold on, Shoma. I need to check. I need to check my Tamagotchi. What phenomenon do you like? Poltergeist, ectoplasm, rapping sound, near-death experience. <laughs> what? Uh, let's go poltergeist. Clay pigeons are shot with these. -y. Huh? I don't understand. Okay, um, about Mizuki. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. Yeah, I, I don't know how much he's listening. About the Bats 490 cat. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. I was just gonna say, it's because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. <laughs> There's no sound coming from them. Maybe they're noise canceling. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. What does that, what what does that even mean? That? <laughs> you won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. What? Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. It's the buzzer. A key to open <laughs> the lock on his heart. Uh, it's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Can you stop saying that? Buzzer. Ding. Did that work? Yes, Shoma. What is your answer? Okay, not that. Robot? That robot is so cool. Mr. Well, Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Toolbox. Oh, I guess that doesn't count. Doll. Uh, what about this? Can I interact with it yet? No. Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? Wow, what a jolly guy he is. I'm gonna tell him everything I know now. Oh my <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. That was actually kind of scary. Okay, so probably not. I'm gonna click the fan. Why don't you smack Shom on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. What about the thing he's holding? Okay, no. Do you want to watch TV together? Shrine. God, please help. You can help yourself. Poem. Is it gonna be this? Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? What is Lucky Laugh? Picture doesn't seem to be the key closet. Oh. What is that? A robot? He building a robot? It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? You making robots? Hey, Shoma, would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? <laughs> that sounds like. <laughs> Hey, you mind showing me the skeleton in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Yeah, why not just say, like... <laughs> why not try to, like, say, Oh, do you like robots or something? Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? Why do you talk about... <laughs> yeah, my son's got a robot in his closet. That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Okay. Wow. Does he have a job? What's he doing? You made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. If 
fine tuning it is really hard. Cool. Wait, what is that? Remote control. Oh, TV remote. Hello, robot. Oh, I can't say anything to him. Hello. Compliment. Oh, that's incredible. Oh wait, I didn't see what the other ones were. It was like compliment, compliment strongly, and something I'm else. I'm impressed that you made it all by yourself. <laughs> I mean, isn't he like twelve or something? Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. I want to talk to the robot. <laughs> I love him. Oh, so now I gotta say <laughs> everything again. What are you making? One of the parts for Robota. The robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. Where do you where do you want to <laughs> where do you want it to carry you to? Uh, what are the headphones for? Put them for? on so I can concentrate better. Dude, me too. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. Exact. That's why I was saying <laughs> uh, maybe they're noise canceling. About your father. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. But sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Understandable. Why not? <laughs> well, because... Why does it matter? Why <laughs> About Komeji's connection to the Yakuza? About Mizuki. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. Even though she's cute? Why are that you doing? Logo? She's not cute at all. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. Wait, are we not gonna get to... Oh, it was no. just... Wait. I huh? think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Oh, I guess the asking <laughs> about the Yakuza connection was... optional? Okay. The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Okay, now I actually believe that this child did solve it because he made a robot. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab. Horadori Lab. The Horadori Institute of Genetics. Horadori Institute of Genetics. I was having a feeling that it was something like sciencey going on, so. I heard about it last night on the news. Why does everyone have like weirdly shaped heads? <laughs> <laughs> Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. He says as he smiles. I am Chikara Horadori, the director of this research institute. Chikara Horadori. Let me write that down. I'm taking notes now. I will learn my lesson. I will no longer forget things, even though I still will. <laughs> he hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Uh, do people usually retire before that? Isn't that usually like a bonus if you can retire before you're 60? <laughs> what the heck? What are they doing? A researcher wearing the typical protective garb. Is that typical? It looks like they're going out on like walks on alien planets. Excuse statue. Me. What is that statue? Is it another god? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Okay. Monitor, desk, robot arm, uh, Ryuki, test tubes. Would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? No, it could just be straight up chemicals and kill me. Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? That would be awesome. 
a test tube full of some sort of liquid. I'd rather die than drink it. You could die if you drink it. Finder. Do door. Looks like Bio a grotesque pod. monster might be trapped inside. I don't see anything in there. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. There's nothing in there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Monitor. Is this a different statue? There's a mysterious statue. Okay. Window. Yeah, why do they have the same statue multiple times? That's actually... Weird. <laughs> okay, hello. About Jin. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Uh, what were you doing around 6 a.m. on the night? Jen's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. You got any uh, people to back that they up? They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, well, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? That's what I said. <laughs> We're the same person. Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> what the heck? Good for you. Your dream came true. <laughs> You can literally say that any time, <laughs> just randomly while you're at work. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Taking out the trash, I'm just doing my job. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. Six years? Why is it always six years? Stop. I can't with that. It's like bothering me now. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. Okay. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. Okay, how about this institute? We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Gene therapy? What does that mean? Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. I don't understand that at all. It doesn't sound like a good thing to me, though. <laughs> In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call uh, PURGE. Ah, sounds... lovely. <laughs> With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. Okay, that part's fine. I'm thinking more of like... Oh my god, I forget... Why do I forget the word for it? The thing where you specifically just try to get rid of, like, all of the quote-unquote undesirable traits. But that's not all. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. I don't want you to be mortal. Immortality? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. How many people, like, actually die of old age? Are there stats on that? Like, is that a th I feel like people typically die of other causes rather than just old age. I know of, like... 
one person, <laughs> I guess, off the top of my head who's died of old age, and that's it. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. Nah, see, we're already overpopulated. We don't need people to be around longer. It, we just, we don't need it. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? The curing diseases part, love it. The rest? I don't know about that. About the QR video. Uh, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do I believe you? Perhaps someone just made it up. Uh, don't you think something is off about Jikara? He's a weird guy. <laughs> That's what so? you mean. You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. What? <laughs> Why is there trivia about my mic? Mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. What? Is that true? I don't play mobile games. <laughs> so, I don't know. Thermo, is he lying? Is that... <sighs> yeah. I assume that he knew. <laughs> His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Maybe he has the flu. Oh, unless like something else Don't is going on. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. We've heard that before. What's it mean? We gonna wink sink him? Yeah, let's give it a shot. What does this do? Oh, wink sink. Is a simplified version of syncing. You can analyze the brain waves of the sync subject and temporarily look into their dream. Interesting. Select Chikara with the cursor. Choose wink sync icon. Blah, 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 blah. Let's wink sync. I'll wink at you and then I'll sync with you. <laughs> Imagine seeing someone do that. <laughs> Wing sync is a simplified version of sinking. But you're still taking a look inside their dreams. And dreams are made from memories. So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Bats 490. Mm-hmm. He was lying to us earlier. I'll Mr. Chikara, that. can you accompany me to the station? Hold on, we need to hear some trivia about wink sinking. Wink sink is the simple version of sinking from uh, the eyeball me. A strong, a strong magnetic wave is shot out to the sink subject. This temporarily numbs the subject's brain and puts their brain into flux sleep state and induces a dream. By analyzing the faint brain waves emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sync needs to be performed. A wink sync can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. I would need to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. Okay. What? Why? Because you're a liar. I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. What are those shoes, though? They look like oven mitts, but with grip on the bottom, <laughs> like a running shoe, like slippers, but with sneaker, sneaker bottoms. Very well, I'll go with you. 
Let's go. Abyss. Why does he look like that? <laughs> Why does he look weird? What the heck? He looks weird with his eyes closed. Hello, boss. Any progress on the investigation? There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Uh, where's Adate? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. Pardon? He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. Oh, hold on. What kind of dance do you like? I don't know what any of these are. I'll go with the one that starts with an M. All right. <laughs> wow. Definitely important. I'm not going to read the trivia about what the nipple guessing game is. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. If you guys want to read it, it's scrolling across the top. Are you sure that's okay? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Okay, about Chikara. I got Thomas' report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. Why are you talking I like that? I still think that's a bit unreasonable. Isn't this supposed to be like your job? <laughs> okay. Why are you here? <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Just like the cleaning lady. Oh, I need to check on her. Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year, you were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information, not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. So we're just like letting, okay. <laughs> I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good looking studs while you're at it. I know about mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. Abyss is kind of scary. Nah, uh, you get used to it. Why do you say that like you've been around longer? No. Okay. Good. In any case. No. <laughs> I want to check on the cleaning you lady. Can... You know what to do. Sink with him. Rude. I think there was even another option to talk with Pewter. I don't like that it does that. Put the iron on your face. Why is this going so slowly? <laughs> okay. Also, I don't think I've said it, but I love Ryuki's outfit. Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. Again with the number six. <laughs> so I'm sure you know without me telling you. But it's not six years, at least. I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Again. <laughs> it's all right. I know. Okay, then. Let's begin. The creator's favorite number is definitely six. 
gotta be. That's half a statue of like place? a cowboy. Uh, so I think that we're going to save this for next time. This hasn't been too long of an episode, but it was longer for me <laughs> because I had to play through stuff that I already played through. Um, but yeah, we... What did we even do? I only wrote down one thing, and that was uh, Chikara's name. <laughs> But we met uh, Shoma. Shoma figured out the Bats 490 video uh, and also makes robots, which is cool. Um, yeah, we found out that the that video, if you solve it, somehow leads back to the genetics lab. Why? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next time. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot that happened. But, uh, until next time, everybody, I hope you have a nice evening, a nice day, morning, whatever time it is. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye! Also, I'm looking forward to sinking as these people because we haven't done that yet. Bye!